Okay, welcome everybody. Let's get into the video for today. We'll look at the weekly, the daily. We'll look at the intraday charts. Um, so here on the weekly chart, you can see that there was a gap up uh, this morning, right? Because we went from March contracts to June. So I'm sure the people who trade the spider saw it. I know I saw it on the futures here because Mar uh, because June was trading higher than, than, than March. So we got like a 60 point 60, 60 point uh, gap on the futures, which I guess translates to about six or seven dollars on the spider, probably. All right, so we're still busting out to all time new highs here today, blah blah blah, or this week. Uh, 50, 63 here is uh, the nearest support. The market continues to be extremely bullish as per usual, so nothing really changed there. There are your weekly uh, cycles. Okay, and uh, we'll just see what the market does this week. Okay, as always, the week that we're in is always a big week. We'll see if this monster bull run, I like to call bull something, all right. It's it's a bunch of bull. In any case, we'll just make market money on the market no matter what it's doing, right? That's what we do. But yeah, this is a little bit, uh, bit crazy going on here. And... Um, do I believe that the S&P 500 companies are worth this kind of value? Yeah, right. Yeah, sure they are. Yeah, there's no there's no overvalued businesses, you know, corporations in the S&P 500. No, no, no. This is a this is a true. This represents the true basket of, of the top 500 businesses that make up this index. And the, you know this uh, this right here, yeah, this this is this is accurate. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. All right, let's switch to the daily. My mouse is giving me a hard time here because it's, uh, who knows, one of those days. Maybe the battery's going bad. I don't know. It's playing games. All right. Um, so we got this. If I. I remember if this is a hanging man or a tombstone. Can't remember which one this is. I think this is what a hanging man. Yeah, uh, which doesn't mean too much. First day of the week, we'll see if this pulls back here or not. Um, of course, members, keep an eye on your email tonight. Yes, I'll give my opinion what I think the market's going to do tomorrow. Here are the nearest supports, but of course, we already now got some craziness going on here. <clears throat> With this gap up in the in the change in the contract, so we'll have to keep an eye on you know. Really, don't have enough go on go on here to go on yet to see if there's another support level, but to me, it looks like there really is. At minimum, it's right here. So, fifty one twenty two, we'll call it. All right. There are the cycle lows: March twentieth, April fourteenth, and May first. And I think there's one. What is this one out here? What is this? May 7th. Okay. And here are the nearest supports. Okay. As far as how high this is going to go, your guess is as good as mine. We're just going to pretend like, you know, sky's the limit here. We don't really know, do we? Nobody really knows how high this could go. We can speculate. We can draw Fibonacci extensions from, you know, whatever, from 1912. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You got to go to the monthly chart to get any kind of Fibonacci like extension that means anything. And what, what's going to happen when that one runs out of gas? Yeah. So this is all just kind of, you know, we don't really know what the top is, right? Run, runaway economy and r r kind of a runaway market that goes along with it. Gold has gone absolutely bonkers. And if that doesn't give you a heads up that something's very wrong with the world economy. Uh, then you're asleep because gold is going to probably blast off and uh, we're going to hit some type of hyperinflation been talking about it here lately I just I mean this right here this is just this just signifies how how bad things really are this is just con continually going upward stuff and this is when they're trying to um, um, control money supply back 
two, three years ago when they were printing money like mad dogs. Now they're supposedly trying to control it. Well, they're not. You can tell they don't have control over it, right? Because they screwed it up. The Federal Reserve printing all their money. They screwed it up. And now they can't reel it back in. And I don't think they're going to be able to save it. They're going to cut rates this year? Yeah, right. Okay. You think the market's gonna is gonna go down if they cut rates? No, the market's gonna go up. Right? The market would go up if they cut rates. Now I'm not saying there can't be a pullback, there probably will, but the market will probably continue to go up. I can see this thing at 5,500, 6,000, whatever. That's just runaway stuff. That's a reflection of a runaway economy, right? Like a freight train. That's not a good thing, that's a bad thing. So all the signs to me show just like an economy running away that they have no control over. You know, we're, we're approaching $35 trillion in national debt here in the United States. Never going to get it back, guys. Not recoverable. Ain't never going to happen. And nobody in Congress, whether it be the House or the Senate or even the president, even if it's Trump, nobody's interested in dealing with this mess. They all just pretend like it isn't there. Well, guess what? It's going to come home to roost, already has, and uh, they're going to be forced to deal with it, right? They're going to be forced to deal with it. Runaway economy. Um, okay, let's move on to the uh, to the intraday charts. Today was very choppy in certain parts of the day. It just got kind of crazy. Um, pretty good right here. Pretty good right here. This was at 6.50 in the morning. You really had to wait on it, though. It was just an absolute collapse right here. Okay, but you could tell that what you, it, right? Because at this point, you could tell that this, I'm oh, sorry, about right here. It wasn't finished right, right? It hadn't curled up. It tried to and then died and then finally got some legs under it. But, so that, that was a decent one, but this one was even better. Look at this one right here. This was at 555. What a great trade. Oh my gosh, this trade was just so awesome. Look at this. Bang. Perfect. Bam. Huge collapse off of this indicator. This one made good, but it took a while to mature. Okay, but this was definitely the trade of the day right here. Uh, Pre-market, early in the morning. Bammo. Sweet. Look at that thing. From 5190 all the way down to almost 65, a good 28 to 30 points worth of profit right here. Okay, not 30 points, sorry, more like, uh, yeah, about 25, I'd say, was realistic here. Maybe 23. 70 to 90, yeah. I think 70, to, I think 20 points in here is realistic, maybe 23 points. Huge. Just massive profits right there. Best trade of the day right there, guys. If you're up in the morning, you got to pay attention to these things. Great trade. Okay. And then we get over here. This was this was like a chop fest. I mean, it was more working its way up, but it was very choppy. You know, we got a signal right here. Tough signal to read. Really tough signal to read. Because the market's already elevated. Right? It's already sitting above the... Right? Just a real tough read right there. You know, you can't really short it because it's kind of sitting on the line. It's not peaky. Pretty indication, pretty good indication the market's strong when you see this kind of stuff going on. But it was just so choppy through here. Mid morning. This is just like this whole mess here is ugh gosh. It was kind of tough to trade this area. Yeah, of all of them, this is the one to me that stands out as, the, as a, a beautiful trade. If you were in this trade right here, you don't got to trade for the rest of the day. Don't even touch this madness. Okay, let's take a look in the 15-minute chart real quick. I'll finish up the video. Yeah, I mean, just look at this day, you know. It was up here last night, worked its way down, and kind of just like this. I mean, you know, just really not a lot of range. Here was 60, here was 90. 30, 30 range day, probably a little more than that, 96 over here, a little lower than that. But overall, you know, just kind of looking at this in the block, this is like 30 points. Not a, not a super small day, but but by, but by no means a, a large day, right? This was the only decent trade, which we saw in the five minute chart was back over here when it gave us that um, get us plus indicator right here on the five minute chart. The rest of the day, not so good. Difficult to trade some of this stuff. 
Okay, if you want to become a member, there's going to be a link in the description right below this video. Just click on the discord.com link. Make sure you read those instructions first, okay, very carefully so that you don't have any problems joining. It's going to bring you to this server. Click on server shop right here. It's going to bring you over to this page right here. $7.99, guys. Really good value. You get the streaming charts down here. The five minute, the 15 minute, and one hour streaming charts. Has a get us plus indicator on there, which we just looked at right on the intraday charts. It's also got the cycles on there. The cycles today were really very good. There was a cycle around maybe eight, 9, 10 o'clock this morning, something like this. And there was also a small cycle at 2 o'clock. They both were pretty decent. So the cycles have been good on the hourly chart. So if you want the streaming chart after you join, click down here. If I can get my mouse to work. Okay, right. Just click on that. You'll get you'll get the stream. Okay. Over here is where the alerts go. So the stream will send the alerts to this channel right here. So you can always right click on this channel. Burm, burm. Right, just right click on that channel and uh, turn notifications on. Okay, premium symbols every day. I put premium symbols in this channel right here, so you can go in there and check out the symbols. Really nice. There's some other alerts here too for gold, crude oil, and some stocks. So if you're interested in those, you can look at those. Um, if you want to get the nightly emails, just put your email in this emails only channel. Okay, and you will get the nightly email that, that is the daily chart of the SP 500. It has the daily cycles on there and it has the support on there because we are just once again just right at all time highs so you know there's there isn't much resistance above it right <laughs> just support below it because we're st still humming along here but if you want that nightly email it's pretty good um some days the emails are extremely accurate all right so uh make sure you put your email in there you'll get the nightly email okay up here, you got the two channels where most of the chat happens. All right. So this is everything you get, guys. You're getting everything in this rectangle for the $7.99 a month, okay? You're getting the streaming charts. You're getting the alerts that come with the S&P 500 stream. You get alerts for these products right here. You get some premium symbols, which are pretty nice. And you get the nightly emails, okay? Of course, you've got, you know, some support here. If you need support, just put something in the member chat. If you're, like, sometimes... People won't get their emails because Discord will force them to change their handle name or their username, and then that'll mess up their emails. If that happens, just, you know, you can just hit me up in chat or hit me up in email, email only channel and just say, hey, I'm not getting emails. Sometimes that happens. Okay. If you're going to be, if you're a new member or you're about to become a new member, you want to join, ask me about the members video and I'll send you a link to that video so you can watch it. It'll help explain you know, my approach and how I use the get us plus indicator and some of the other indicators to do trading. Okay. I think it's really helpful, really super helpful for new members. Okay. Got to read the rules, guys and gals. The refund rules are in there. The please be nice and respectful to everybody else on the server rules. Don't post any nasty pictures, nasty links. Don't say any nasty words. I don't tolerate that stuff on the server. I don't want to have to kick you or ban you, but I will if you become a big jerk. Okay. So don't do that. And lastly, and there is a disclaimer that I don't give financial advice. Everything on this server, no matter who's posting it, me or anybody else, is educational purposes only, just like this video, okay? All right, happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. Talk to you all real soon again next time.